Hey, Taryn Thompson here, your virtual health coach. Do you ever find yourself wondering how you are going to get rid of this pooch of fat that has formed around your midsection? If you are over the age of 35 or if you are a mum, then stick around because today's video is for you. Now, not long after I'd had um, my son, I caught up with one of my friends and she had had a baby um, as well. And when I saw her flat tummy, I thought, heck, I've got to put what I know into practice in order to get my flat tummy back. And I did. And here are some key things that you need to understand if this is you. It is not about working harder. It's about working smarter. All right. Your hormones are different. When you were young in your 20s, you produce a, a lot of growth hormone. All right. Now, this hormone, we're going to use props, is going to be represented by this remote control. Growth hormone, when you're in your 20s, sits naturally high. And when you get to the age of 35, it starts to take a drop, okay? Or post-baby. When you are post-baby, growth hormone starts to take a drop. Perhaps you are both, and um, growth hormone really has taken a drop. And this is the important hormone that must be high in order for your body to burn fat around the midsection. Now, what's key to understand is, is that hormones oppose each other. So when you produce less of this hormone, you produce more of this hormone, and this is cortisol, okay? Naturally, cortisol sits higher if you are post-baby or over the age of 35. Therefore, your old tricks and the way that you used to do things will not work unless you consider your hormones and how to get this hormone higher and therefore this hormone lower, okay? It's real, real key. So I'm going to give you one key tip today, and that is to do with your exercise. If you have already been trying to um, exercise your way to a flatter tummy, then here is something that you must understand. It's the rest time in between your sets that need to be allowed, um, that need to be long enough in order for cortisol to come down. Okay, it's the rest time in between your sets. So if you are conditioned to exercise, you've been exercising for quite some time now and you are fit, then you want to leave about two and a half to three minutes in between your sets to allow cortisol to get low enough. Okay, if you are not conditioned to exercise and you are just starting or if you've had a long break in between exercise, then you need to wait to about four to five minutes before you go ahead and do your next set. So what you can do is jump on a piece of cardio equipment or and do a bit of walking for about four to five minutes in between your set in order to allow your nervous system to rest and recover so that you are not overproducing cortisol. How you will know is, is that you'll start sleeping better and your body will start to access fat around your stomach. All right, so that's my top tip. If you got some value from this, feel free to like, comment, or share. I did do a training more extensively on this topic this morning on Facebook Live. So if you want to check that out, go along to um, my Facebook page. It's Generation House Limited. If you go along to that page, um, you will see a much longer training in which I go through three key concepts um, for you to know about in order to target this area um, and, and get that tummy back. So if you want to see if there are some other related symptoms that you are experiencing um, with this a tire that is forming around your stomach, then you want to take our body type quiz. So hop along to our website, generationhealth.co.nz forward slash quiz. Take the body type quiz. It'll ask you a bunch of symptoms that you are experiencing and then accumulate them into a group. See if you score. See how you score. All right, see how you score. So check out that body type quiz. Um, hope you got some value. Feel free to like, comment, and share. Have a great day.